This game is one of the most epic games I've ever played. I'm so glad they remade it. Here are seven of the best secrets I know in this game, and I hope they help you. Bro, what the? First up is the silliest hidden treasure chest in the game. If you don't get this when you first arrive at the Mushroom Kingdom castle, you're kind of SOL. But make sure you jump on Toad's head, and as soon as he arrives at the first door, jump on top of the platform above it to find this hidden treasure chest. Next up is the three musty fears. You'll find this side quest in Monstro Town, in what could arguably be called the Inn, I guess. Once you hit the lights and go to sleep, you'll have three ghosts show up, and they'll tell you where some hidden flags are. Here are the locations. Greeper mentions a wooden flower, and that one's pretty simple because that can be found in Rose Town, right behind the sign. Dry Bones mentions a green bed, and that particular bed just so happens to be Mario's bed, actually. So if you travel back to where the game first started, you're going to find his flag at your house. Boo mentions his flag being between an O and an A, which can only be found at Yoster Isle at the finish line. You'll find his flag exactly between the O and the A in the word goal. Once you have all three flags, go ahead and go rest up again, and you'll be rewarded with the accessory, the ghost medal, which actually doubles your defense. And depending on which point you're at in the game, that's actually not bad at all. You may or may not have seen this key on top of the walls in Monstro Town. It opens up a hidden cache in the Balomi Temple. Go ahead and enter this door and talk to the Thwomp seven times. I think it's seven times. Every time you talk to him, he has something to say, but he thwomps the ground. Eventually that key will start scooting towards the edge to the point where it will fall off and Mario can pick it up. Once you retrieve the key, head back to Balomi Temple and head up the elevator. Exit the room and come back out and hit the Balomi statue until the fortune says, Sorry, I'm not accepting visitors past my bedtime. Once you see that, go ahead and take the elevator down and there'll be like a gold looking statue of Balomi that will eat the key. Once he eats the key, he's out of there and you can get all the goodies on the inside. Next up is the mystery egg. In the Mobile item shop, you'll find the treasure hunting toad. Throughout the game, he sells various items. One of those items though, is a mystery egg. If you try to use this item outright, nothing really happens. But if you make sure to buy the nurture ring and marry more and equip it to Princess Peach, who is actually the only one that can equip it, she can unlock the mystery of the mystery egg. Head to an area where the enemies are pretty easy. With the Nurture Ring equipped, have Princess Peach use the Mystery Egg 10 times. Once that happens, they will say you are a Great Shepherd and a Lamb will come out of the Egg. From there, the Mystery Egg will have turned into the Lamb Lore. This item will send common enemies packing and end battles pretty quick. All right, let's get the Great Guys Casino. At a certain point in the storyline, you'll be able to head back to Booster Tower. If you start at the top, it won't take long to run into Knife Guy. There will be no battle encounter though, they're completely friendly, and they actually want to play a game with you. Knife Guy just so happens to be a juggler, and he wants to reward you for finding the yellow ball he's juggling. It doesn't have to be in a row, but if you can do that 13 times, you're going to get a bright card. Knife Guy will say that this card lets you into his brother's casino, but he doesn't know where it's at. So let's find it. If you head back to Bean Valley, there's going to be a section with five pipes and a shy guy watering plants that come out of those pipes. In the pipe closest to the save point, 
Defeat the enemy and use the pipe that is closest to the save point. Once inside, you'll find a couple enemies, but a gold chain chomp in the upper left corner. Defeat that gold chain chomp and start jumping for your life. You will eventually start to hear secret sounds, and if you jump enough, a yellow platform will appear with a path out. This path will lead you back to the map, but there will be a fork in the road to Great Guys Casino. Since you already have the bright card, you'll be let in right away, and there'll be three mini games to play. The first one is basically a slot machine game that can win you special items depending on the symbols you match. The second game is actually a card memory game featuring the cast of Mario RPG. The last game is with Great Guy himself, and it's called Look the Other Way. This game is pretty much luck and simple in practice. However, if you win this 100 times and it does not have to be in a row, you will get the special item called the Star Egg. This item acts just like rock candy with the damage cut in half. Regardless of weakness or resistance, it will do 100 damage to each enemy on the screen. However, unlike rock candy, this one can be used over and over again. All right, now it's time for everybody's favorite secret. Once you get through Bean Valley, you're inevitably gonna come into contact with a boss enemy named Smilax being watered by a shy guy named Bezo. Once this boss fight is over, Bezo is gonna run off, but they're gonna drop a seed. Make sure you grab this. Pretty hard to miss, but just in case, make sure you grab it. Once all the events are wrapped up in Nimbus Land, you will find a hidden path where you're actually walking on the sky and Bezo is just waiting there for you. In return for letting them go, they give you fertilizer. Once you have the seed and fertilizer, go ahead and head to Rose Town, where there's a special area in the back. There's a gentleman there that has been looking for the quote unquote legendary seed and fertilizer. If you give it to him, he plants it right away and the beanstalk grows out of his chimney. Go ahead and climb that beanstalk to get Mario's best weapon in the game and the best armor in the game. I prefer to equip the armor on Peach as I don't really attack with her anyway. Keep in mind that the lazy shell armor makes it so that your attack strength is really, really bad. It will also completely put your speed to zero, so whoever is wearing the lazy shell will always attack last in battles. Lastly, let's talk about the sealed door that's in Monstro Town. Obviously, you've probably seen the odd colored door that's in Monstro Town. Next door, there's a piranha plant that even talks about how there's somebody in there talking about a crystal or a shiny stone. If you go to Moleville, there's a young lady with a pretend store and she's looking for fireworks. If you go inside the house next to her and buy fireworks from the mole and trade them with her, she will give you a shiny stone. It will react with the door in Monstro Town and open. I'll leave it at that for now because I do know there are some people out here that haven't played this game at all. There's a ton of other secrets and Easter eggs in this game, but of those, I thought these seven were the most important. If you're someone like me who played the original Mario RPG in 1996, I hope you're having a great time with the remake. And if you're someone who's playing this game for the first time, I'm really, really jealous, but I hope you're having a good time. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Eat some good food, kiss a loved one, and I'll see you when I see you.